Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ray Dolan from Mullingar, in Mullingar, and we're on a sort of a wet day today, but uh, we're here to, to meet a fantastic lady who's uh, just explaining a little bit about recycling, which is a huge, big, big thing at the moment. And we're here with Leah. How's it going, Leah? Hi, Ray. How are you? Good Sorry. to be here. I'm delighted to have you on Ray Dolan Live from Mullingar, in Mullingar. Thanks, Ray. Leah, you, you, you got in contact there and you're just saying you're involved in recycling. What exactly um, are you doing? Yeah, so I'm with uh, Voice Ireland, Ray, and we're doing workshops that are free for community groups and yeah. businesses, anybody who's interested in finding out what they can actually recycle and uh, put into the recycling bins with confidence yeah. and know that they can actually be used um, at the end of their life for uh, another purpose so that they're going to turn into something again. So you're saying like, fair enough, we have the old black bin and we just put throw everything into it. But we have a few bins now, we've got a black bin, which is for landfill, you could say, is it? I would call that landfill waste, yeah. yeah. And then we have a blue bin and the blue bin is for what? Well, the blue bin, in, in depending on your provider race, so yeah. some people's um, recycling bin is actually a different colour, but mm. if it's a blue bin, we would be putting in the likes of um, cardboard, we'd be putting in aluminium cans, we'd be putting in steel cans. So these workshops are really to tell people not about what the things that they can't put in, yeah. it's to have that conversation, but it's also to tell people what definitely can go into them. So you're going to have a workshop on throwing out rubbish? Yeah, right. That's, that's kind of an important thing, you know, it has to go somewhere. Well, we have a big problem because the landfill is nearly full anyway. The landfills are, yeah. you know, it's not something that we can continue to do. It's not a sustainable way. So we're trying to look at these materials as a resource. So these are, there's actually value in these, in these materials. So you reckon the stuff we're throwing out, there's money in it? There's money in it. There's yeah. jobs. Jobs, There's jobs in it. Jobs and money in it, Ray. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Do you like yeah. my green T-shirt? I love your green T-shirt. I have a rainbow on. Oh, it's yeah. not sunny, but a bit of a warrior, huh? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Why not? Now, come here. Just show us something because I know we all know and we think we know we're great people to recycle it. But what's in this one here? Okay, what are we recycling so this one? I've been talking about this one, Ray. So when we do the workshops, we'll be doing a very interactive thing with the people that are there. If they're willing to, and we'll be talking about the likes of people putting in uh, plastic toys into yeah. recycling bins. There's actually mixed material, Ray. So that actually can't be recycled. Cycles. Okay, these the are likes, things, yeah. These are things that won't be recycled. Right. It's actually going to contaminate the bin. So okay. the likes of this now, ideally, if that was clean mm -hmm. and dry, that would certainly be recyclable because mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a great material to be reused again. So I can throw that in the black bin? Well, no, Ray, I'd be telling clean you to wash that out bin. and put it into the blue bin and then it's absolutely a material that can be recycled. Okay. The likes of all of these now, unfortunately, um, people will be putting in kind of cloths and the likes of that. Black and bin. Black bin, yeah. yeah. Or you know what? You can. You, there's textile companies now that are actually happy to take some So of, eventually things are going to go that, right, this here is going to go to a man who makes steel and he's going to throw that into his steel machine and recycle it. Well, we would like to yeah. do, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the problem with this is it gets into the machinery when it gets to the recycling plant oh, yeah. and it actually actually causes Simple a things. lot of damage, yeah, absolutely, wow. yeah, so, so. Someone has to stand and go through it and pick out the rubbish that we're after throwing into the bin. Yeah. Glass, Glass, huge thing. Huge problem as far as contamination in recycling bins go. That definitely has to go to your bottle bank. It's totally recyclable, but You don't not, throw that into the food bin? Definitely not into your food bin. <laughs> definitely not into your garden. Definitely into the into the bottle banks when you're in your local, uh, your local centre. Yeah. So right, that's some there. And these things here on this side, that we're after, we're after throwing on the pavement. Yeah, well, you know what, Ray? If everybody collected all their leaves yeah. from their house and left it in their house for four weeks, yeah. you know what? I think they'd get a real idea as to what the materials you'd ha want to have it clean and dry yeah. before you brought it then and, and, and you were going to put it on your kitchen floor. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're telling people at the workshops. How clean, how dry, it should be clean and dry enough that you would tip it on your own kitchen floor before it goes into the recycling bin. Or throw it in your own estate. Or, <laughs> Well, not everybody's like you, Ray. You're telling me there, this, this can here is made of uh, aluminium. Steel, that's a steel can, Ray, right. and that's totally recyclable. Absolutely, okay. that can go in. And the cans, lads. Yeah, the cans. cans Don't be throwing cans. them on the side of the road. Just yeah. bring them home, throw them in the blue bin. Blue, the blue bin. bin. Yeah, and be sure that when you put your recycling in that it's loose. Yeah. You don't put it into a plastic bag and then put it into your recycling bin. That's a big problem for the, for the uh, collectors. We want to have it all loose. So just like this, but in the bin. So when are you going to come up here? When are you going to have this uh, event? Well, we're hoping to do one now. I'm going to go out to Belvedere and I'm going to see the crowd of uh, students out there on the horticulture program very soon. Oh, yeah. But we're going to have public events coming up as well, Ray. So there's a Facebook page that Voice Ireland have that's totally dedicated to this program. It's the Recycling Ambassador Program. Okay. And people can contact us on that and they can then book us for a free workshop, community groups, businesses, anybody who wants us. We like a group of people. So there's a hashtag. 
Bin sorted. So get your bin, bin sorted, sorted lads. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is Ray Dolan from Mullingar in Mullingar at the estate with the lady herself, Leah. That's Come me. a ski, and if you want to contact her, we'll put up a whole load of little bits and pieces and we'll show you how to recycle. Now, there's some people out there that know how to recycle, but this is recycling, Absolutely. recycle. Recycling and, and doing it properly and okay. enjoying it. No, thanks, thanks a million. Ray. This God has been bless. a pleasure. Okay. So there you are, folks. That's, that's the story at the moment. There's a lot of people coming in here. Good man, Ray. Need to explain a lot of. Yeah, it will definitely. Can you use tin cans at home? Paint them and use them for pencil case. Sandy, you are a recycler at heart. Fair play to you. We have a few people coming in saying, Hi, Gerald, uh, Margaret. Probably see up my nose here as well. Paddy, how's it going? And there's a lot of people, as I say, looking at us. Share this, folks. As I say, we're doing a little bit for recycling here in Mullingar, from Mullingar. And uh, if you're out there, folks, and you're heading into recycling, just say Ray sent you. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs>